Well, guys, if you wouldn't believe it, it's 2020 already, and I've managed to pick up this bad boy of the classic Motorola Razr V3, and it's the navy blue edition of the phone, and I do remember having this phone back in the day as my most best of flip phone that I ever had, and I'm talking about 2005, because I remember getting this on the contract when I was with T-Mobile, going in my late teens now but obviously I didn't have a job back then but I've managed to pick this up off eBay for 20 UK pounds and like if you look on the box look how neat it is and 15 years later just look at it the box is in mint condition not too bad and the only thing is it's locked to Tesco mobile so let's open this bad boy up then. And then at the top, we've got the actual top layer with the phone holder. And I believe this is the actual phone here. Yeah. And then what's this one? That's the, um, this is the car charger. Oh, let me see what it is. Oh, it's mini USB. Okay, cool stuff. That's the um, UK standard charger for it. Okay. What the heck? 3.5mm jack headset. No way. Okay. Why would he just put standard headphones in there? Uh, earphones. Wow. Okay. Let's see what brand it is. Oh, it's a Nokia. I see. What's what else is in here? The motor manual. I remember this. Introducing your new Motorola B3 GSM wireless phone. Okay. Hello, Motor. I actually remember that. So you got your menu map. Safety, general information. Um, energy interference compatibility operational warnings okay just tells you the do's and don'ts to care for your Motorola phone keep it away from the existing below okay that's about it and then what else oh my god the warranty information you're talking about 15 years out of warranty well out of warranty you even look at the manual itself it's starting to go a bit yellow freaking hell guys but if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so don't miss a thing use that information oh okay they're all in different languages Rappers these days, man. Whoa. Cool. And then what's this one? Motorola Razr V3 getting started at accessories. The well outdated phone. Whoa. Wow. I actually missed this phone, guys. The days of flexing my Motorola Razr V3. Wow. But the good thing about it, it is shockproof. Unlike these smartphones nowadays, and I'm recording off my Huawei P30 Lite, of course, to do this video. Right then, let's get into the bubble wrap, shall we? My god, he's really sealed this tight. Okay, oh wow. Found a way of opening this thing up. Cool. Oh my god. The phone itself, it's got the sleek aluminium pad on it. It's an aluminium case, guys. Wow. VGA zoom four times. Okay, let me just get the focus right. If I could get this camera to work, sorry. Apologies for that, guys, but all, all I could see is just. VGA zoom four times. 
right then let's see if this would actually have a battery in it batteries in there okay sim card is uh, well i haven't got a tesco mobile sim card but i'm just gonna see if this thing actually works because i don't know whoa how do you even turn this thing on i literally forgotten now okay aha we have liftoff we can see some blue lights But the only thing that's um, the problem is the bottom screen. But I can tell it's been dropped. So that's why I've got it at a cheap price anyway. But other than that, it's all good. The phone works. But it's just telling me to insert SIM. So there's not much I can do at the moment. But I know the phone works for sure anyway. But I do remember you can only fit two songs on this thing then. But yeah, but thank you guys for watching the video. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Take care. Peace out dudes. See you all later.